Do you agree with us before we left for South Dakota? We were there much the Sunday we got back to Wilson's home. You have been the only minister most of us have ever known. While we were in South Dakota, we realized that we had a little extra spending money and picked this out for you. It's a fish dream catcher made by one of the Lakota families we spent time with on the reservation. We hope it helps you to remember us in your time here. Thank you for guiding us and helping us become the kind of kids who want to go on trips.
love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. This is the reading of the scripture. I could not imagine that this time would actually come by the hands, causing me to ponder the significance of time, this time, other times, lots of other times. This church has faced so many different times in its long and rich past. Times of laughing and times of crying, Times of hope and times of doubt. Times of courage and times of caution. This church has celebrated births and mourned deaths and prayed for and with countless people over all these years. <coughs> this church saw the Minutemen gather to march against the British before the dawn of this nation. This church saw its pastor march with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This church was firmly planted here before Burlington became a town, and it has lived through times of discord and times of harmony and times of hurt and times of healing and many, many times of change. And now this church enters a time of transition. So what kind of time is this? Well, this is a time for remembering. We did a lot of remembering last night, you and I. Most of it was remembering the past 14 years while I've been your pastor, ministering to and with you. And that remembering was really fun for me, and I hope it was fun for you. I, last night, for those of you who weren't here, I told um, of some slides. I don't have slides. Well, now I do, but I didn't. <laughs> Um, of some of my favorite sort of little glimpses. And I want to tell you one more this morning because this one had to be told in the sanctuary. And I may get it wrong, and Paul, you can correct me if I get it wrong. <laughs> you, you were part of it, yes. Many years ago, when our sexton Barbette was cleaning the sanctuary, many years ago, she was in here one time by herself, busily dusting and sweeping and cleaning. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of her eye, she saw something move. And what she saw was one of these lights going around, all by itself. And being a person who is a bit superstitious, she ran. <laughs> and she went home, and she got her dog, some of you remember her Rottweiler, she got Spanky and she got a friend and they came back. And they came back looking for the ghost. Seriously. And you know what they found? Paul Raymond was cleaning the lights. <laughs> <laughs> this church has more stories than we could tell. We spent a month telling stories. And it's fun to have those memories. We had a lot of laughter last night, a lot of laughter, and a fair number of tears. And this is a time for laughter, and it is a time for tears. But it's also a good time for remembering back beyond the 14 years. In its nearly three centuries, the people of this church have called many pastors to minister here. In a long line, beginning with my distant relative, Supply flat. 
Mike Kidal read their names last night, and then this morning he told me he had discovered a few more. So I have an updated list. Lots of pastors have served this church. And each time a new pastor has been called, the people of this church and the newly called pastor have had hopes and dreams for the church. And each time they have sought the guidance of the Holy Spirit in their effort to be the church that God called them to be in that time. And each time a pastor has left, the pastor and the congregation have wondered what direction the church would go next and who would be called to minister here in the time to come. 